Next question is from John Wilmoth. For each of you, what has been your favorite body weight and why? Your favorite Ooh. body weight. Oh, geez. When you were th th thick. Yeah. So I've my weight has been as high as 238. And I'd say, I mean, besides when I was a kid, as low as... I forgot what my weight was when I got really, really shredded for MAPS Anabolic. It must have been 182 pounds or something like that, or 180 pounds. Um, which is way too, it was way too lean, way too light. Definitely didn't like that. 238, way too heavy. I feel good uh, when I'm at a, a good, lean, strong 195. That just feels the best for me. It's when my my weight feels more most comfortable. Uh, I'm typically pretty strong at that body weight. I'm lean enough to where I like the way I look. My mobility is good. Right now I'm sitting at, I don't know, 206, 207. So I'm a good 12 pounds heavier than than I would say my, my favorite body weight. Yeah, that's a that's kind of a hard question to answer because like you, Sal, I've I've gone extreme, extreme both ways. And that that number fluctuates for me for uh, as light as uh I think I hit stage for nationals at 199, and then I've been as heavy as 240. And and I could honestly say that everything between there and Probably up to 230 because once I got beyond 230, that's too much. It was uncomfortable. Even when I was like shredded, it was uncomfortable. So between uh, 200 and 225 to 230, I've 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 got a uh, I've been my happiest. If that like so, it just all depends on where my body fat is, my mobility is at that. I've had mm -hmm. uh, incredible strength, low body fat, good mobility, as high as 230 ish. And then I've had the same thing all the way in the, at the very bottom. And so to pick a weight uh, that I was happiest, man, I really liked uh, my first, after my first pro show, I was 219 pounds uh, and shredded and I felt pretty amazing. I wasn't uncomfortably big. I hadn't like completely lost my mobility, uh, definitely filled out everything I was wearing. But then I, I've also been... Like 205 were kind of like what you're alluding to, Sal. Like I definitely felt uh, more spry. I could go play a basketball game. I feel like, like right when I get over 220, a lot of muscle, I don't feel like I can go hit the courts mm -hmm. without potentially hurting myself or having a rough time. So somewhere between 205 and 220, uh, I like anywhere in between there if I'm maintaining a, a good body fat percentage, lower body fat percentage and my mobility up. That's the thing too why I always tell clients, don't get so hung up on a, a body weight target because I can literally show you the most mobile, the leanest version of you at all those uh, all those body weights. So it's really a personal preference of what it's, what's easiest to maintain, I guess, like eating wise. Right? That's one of the hard parts for me when I'm lean and big, 220 something, that's a lot of food I got to eat. So that's yeah. one of the drawbacks, even though I may like the way my body looks, it's expensive and time consuming. And clothes don't fit very well. Yeah, when, you're, when you're a big muscular guy, you you ain't going to wear normal Especially jeans. Pants. Yeah. yeah. You're wearing sweats all Terrible. day. Terrible. That's all you're doing all day. Yeah. The, uh, for me, I, I base it off of like uh, what sport I was in at the time and how I felt. So I would always try to get leaner into basketball season coming off of football season. That was always tough for me because I would just start to get lean uh, towards the end of the season. That's when I started to get my shot back and, you know, more athleticism and I could run up and down the court, uh, you know, light on my feet. But initially I was just stomping around, just like <laughs> slamming everybody under the hoop, you know, because I was just so heavy just uh, coming off of football. But it helped for football because the thing was you would get pushed around you would get punked if you were if I was like at my uh, like 210 or even something like that where I was like I felt like real athletic and spry like uh, I would just get punked. And so I had to get up to like 230 to, to 240, uh, especially when I was inside backer, I had to put on a lot more weight and I was just like not mobile. I was explosive, but not mobile. And I felt like shit. So I would say like mine's probably around 215 where I still feel like I, I have some power, but a lot more athletic and, and, and mobile. How far are you off from that right now? Sal's 12 pounds off from what he thinks. What yeah, you, what, I, well, I'm kind of between like 227 ish, like around there. So, yeah, see, and I'm probably around I, what I think I weighed myself the other day at 218 or so. So, I'm right there, but I'm not where I, the way I like the look, right? Mm -hmm. So, my body fat percentage is higher. So, yeah, that's why it's so different. I can I look uh, 10 different diff composition. Yeah, I can look completely different at 218. And I've seen myself look a, a bunch of different ways. So, it's, yeah, it yeah, really depends. And it's funny, too, if this question was asked when I was younger, oh, I yeah, I'd, have, like, I'd have a yeah, number for you. Like yeah. 240. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, being yeah. 250. Yeah. I, I like being 240. It feels the best. Just, yeah, huge, yeah. bro. Ma- makes my ego feel the best. But yeah, if yeah. I'm being totally honest, it does not feel the best yeah, at all. No, no. Get gassed walking up a flight of stairs. Right. 